Hi, this is Dave from Free Run Speed. Here to talk about the $119 New Balance Fuel Cell Prism. First thing I want to say is that my COVID test was negative. And that is very important. It's very important that I called the doctor's office because I was very ill last week and so was my wife. And so it was really important that we called the doctor and just said, these were our symptoms. And the doctor said, you need to come in and get a COVID test. And let me tell you, the time between I took that test to the time it, the results came out to be negative was one of the most difficult times of this year. Because you know what? You think about all the places you've been in the last 10 days and all the people or businesses that you might have infected. It's ridiculous and it's important. If you are not if you are not going and getting the COVID test, that's even worse. Cuz imagine what happens if it was you that infected others. That's just terrible. So although that pressure was high on both my wife and I, from Saturday until Monday morning, the test was negative. I did my first run today in the fuel cell prism. And I gotta say, I picked kind of the worst day in the world to come back and run after being sick. So it's been a week since I went running. And here I am going at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's already 80 degrees outside and humid as all get out. This is Southern California. We, <laughs> it's not supposed to be humid here. Yes, it, we are more humid on the coast than we are inland in the desert. But it's not supposed to be that humid here. And oh my gosh. And then the run I picked, go figure. I picked the sunny side, the windless side of my community. Beautiful trails. Did some tempo work. Loved it. But wow, did I take the wrong side of the road. I would have been much better being on the other side of the hill where there's a breeze. Anyway, I survived thanks to my precision hydration and I'm here to tell you about the fuel cell prism. If you remember way back, maybe five years ago, something like that, New Balance had a shoe called the Bozzy Pace. And that shoe came out and was just great. But then they when they brought that out, they, re they canceled the 890, and 890 fans got real upset. Two years after the Vazi Pace came out, it was gone. But the 890 came back. So it was kind of a thought that the 890 replaced the Vazi Pace. And because it had Pace in the name, that that's the right thing. I'm not sure... Well, I'm not sure New Balance actually did it correctly. I think, in general, this shoe is closer to what that Bozzy Pace was than anything that New Balance has made. Now, I will admit, our favorite shoe, the Rebel, with its knit upper and its fuel cell midsole, and its just go fast, fun type of running, is not stable at all. It is wonky back here in the in the midfoot. Yeah, you've got to be ultra efficient to be able to run in this. And so it kind of limited the number of people that can run in it. This is the answer. It's got the same general midsole, a very springy, very soft midsole, fuel cell derived midsole. 
but it has this piece hard to see but this piece right here on the bottom here as well that the Rebel doesn't have and so that gives the shoe a better platform for more runners it's not stability it's not that old word that that old running shoe word stability it's just got a better platform and that more are going to be able to, to use it All right like i said fuel cell prism it's a hundred and nineteen dollars that's going to make every high school runner's mom or dad very excited. This thing's going to be a workhorse for high schoolers. The particulars. It's 28 millimeters in the heel, 22 millimeters in the forefoot. That gives you a 6 millimeter heel to forefoot offset. It's 8.4 ounces or... 238 grams on the men's size 9, and it's 7.1 ounces and 201 grams in a women's size 8. The upper is an engineered mesh. It, when you look at it, it looks like it's probably not very breathable, but again, it was a super hot and humid day today, and my feet were fine, so I think it's plenty breathable. The logo, it's a little stiff, but it's not a big deal. My foot didn't feel anything. When you look down, there was no big deal in terms of um, forefoot scrunching or anything like that. So it, it, I like it. I really like the way it, the forefoot tapers down and fits really nicely. It's not tight on my foot, and it, I don't think it's going to be tight on your foot. I, I think it's really good. This heel, this heel is outstanding. Just the touch, just when you you grab it and touch it, it feels outstanding. Same thing with the lace. The lace, lots of stretch to them. Totally digging on the lace. And you you probably heard I I like real tongues. I like the fact that it's got a, a standard tongue, nice wings on it, lots of protection from lace pressure on that tongue. And then that insole, EVA. So as I was running in it today, I was thinking, trying to pinpoint what I was feeling, pinpoint where this shoe fits with all other running shoes. And I got to agree with what I heard earlier this week, but I'm going to agree even stronger. If you like the Nike Pegasus of three and four years ago, not the Pegasus that's out right now, but the ones that were out three and four years ago, you're gonna love this shoe. I think this goes against that Pegasus, and maybe even this year's Pegasus, for all I know. But I think it, it fits and feels like th that Pegasus like no other shoe that's been out there. So I, I, I'll say it again, this is the high school runner's dream. It's super, it's going to be super durable up here in the forefoot. You're going to get an entire season, maybe even longer in this shoe. Those of you that are putting a lot of summer miles in, put a lot of summer miles in this for whenever your high school cross-country season starts. At $120, and you're going to be able to get a, you know, a member discount wherever, you know, in many places you go, you're looking at a high value running shoe. Lots of miles, 
great fit, springy, soft feel. I think New Balance is onto something here. I think if they can build some consistency, not consistency in terms of just slight updates, but build on this, they're onto something. This prism is special. I definitely am gonna continue to run in it. And if I have anything that happens to it, I'll let you know. But right now, I don't see anything, anything detracting me from saying, go out and buy it today. I'm gonna take that back. <laughs> and I and and I'm gonna take it as whatever you want to call my moment. But on both shoes, when I pulled them out of the box and put them on, I, don't, I have no idea, but I screwed up the lacing. And I could not figure out. I had a huge loop, huge loop, and I couldn't figure out where it went. On both times. Now I'm gonna say that's probably because I haven't been running for a week and I haven't been tying, putting, tying shoes for a week? I have no idea. Maybe I'm losing it. But New Balance is not losing it. Fuel Cell Prism. Highly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got questions about the Prism, the Rebel, the New Balance 1080, which I still think is a top five shoe, anything in the New Balance line, please leave a comment or a question below. If you've run in this prism, what are your comments? If you've run in the prism and the Pegasus, let's throw a number out there, Pegasus 35. If you've run in the Pegasus 35 and the prism, what do you think? I think they're on to something. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great run. Stay cool out there.